Hey great drivers, today we're having a look at the last dregs of a private select Maker's Mark released um, oak stave selection by Star Hill Provisions in the US. This was a distillery exclusive that I picked and bought while I was in the uh, Maker's Mark distillery a year or so ago. 56.1 uh, ABV, um, barrel finished with oak staves within the barrel, which is how the Maker's 46 kind of works. Um, and in this you have Baked American Pure 2, uh, one stave, four staves of seared French cuvee, one stave of Maker's 46, one stave of roasted French mocha, and three staves of toasted French spice. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, this is a single cast release effectively, which is a barrel pick, which is the US version of single cast really. Um, and when I was at the distillery picking out this bottle to buy, um, I then, you can wax anything. Like they will literally wax anything you want in there, the maker's iconic red wax, down to those um, those Sunday, ice cream Sunday glasses. Just dip it, that's fine. And so I bought the bottle and said, oh, let me, can I wax it please myself? It'd be really fun. And uh, so I went over to the waxing machine, the lady fired it up and then she was like, right, just go really slowly and only down a little bit. I'm like, yeah, sure, sure, sure. sure I want to wax it. I really wanted just to wax the entire thing. But then she got really upset with me. Um, but really upset, quite obnoxiously upset, actually. So I was then not allowed to wax anything more. And I only got down to the bottom of the neck with a little bit of a dribble. So a bit underwhelming on the experience side. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, let's pour this last dreg out of here before it gets fast-tracked into recycling. So, oh, the, the breadth of cask uh, or stave flavour profiles is making a really big nose. Like, that is power. Granted, it's 56 ABV, but at the same time, American 56 ABV isn't necessarily as harsh as it might be with a malt whiskey. Um, it has really different processes and, and, and flavour profiles and whatnot. It's big, it's spicy, it's earthy, it's quite a lot of ground notes, like really earthy actually. But all in all, it still has a little bit of a, f a fruity ping every now and then. Mm. Mm. The palette, it is big on the oak, but really sweet, really enjoyable. Finish next to nothing, but a hell of a lot of flavour in that. Just in that one sip. You've got all those oaky notes, those lovely vanilla notes coming through. Lots of fruit on the kind of undertone. Then a little bit of spice wrapping it all together, which will kind of come from that ABV, I think, and kind of just give you that uh, higher strength perception. But still quite an eloquent whiskey with a lot of depth and interest there as well. One day, if you get a chance to go over to Kentucky, where we're all allowed to fly and do fun stuff again, I would definitely pick one up, even just for the uh, enjoyment of it. And I believe the whiskey shop in Manchester has at least one of their own barrel picks from makers. So check them out as well. You never know. Maybe awesome. Cheers. Until next time.